How's it going guys? Just wanted to do a quick comparison video of these jerseys. Uh, this is an authentic Antonio Brown jersey that was bought off the NFLshop.com. It's the Vapor Untouchable. And this Juju Smith-Schuster jersey was bought off line from DHgate.com, which is a China retailer. Uh, we'll start with the price difference. You get the authentic one off NFL Shop. It's the Vapor Untouchable. It's going for $150. Off DHK, you can save a ton of money. This is $17 shit. Now, right off the bat, the biggest difference for me is the size. These are both larges. The Juju is significantly, significantly bigger, as you can tell. So I will not be wearing this jersey. It's basically a dress on me. Um, the next biggest difference from the jerseys is the sleeves. Well, the authentic one is a screen print. From China, you get the stitched on sleeve. And they're also very different colors. This is more of an orange. This is the authentic yellow. I find this to be a lot more comfortable. But that's just my opinion. Another big difference is, I'd say, the numbers and the name. On the authentic one, you have way bigger numbers, and the text on the name is more of a bold. Over here, the number is very small. There's a lot more jersey space on the bottom and around the number. Another big difference is the collar. Check out the collar on the DH Gate jersey. Compared to the collar on the NFL shop jersey. Just way better quality. So flip, flip the jerseys around. And the most noticeable difference here is the NFL emblem on the collar. The H gate you get a little plastic instead of the authentic metallic emblem. Also the mesh is a little different. You can see lines in the mesh on the authentic one. On um, the tag, both say Nike. But it's supposed to be off to the side, not down the center, as you see there. The feeling of the jerseys is a little different as well. The cheap one kind of feels like my, my sheets. And this one is just a lot more durable feeling. Um, the patch down here, also a little different. The NFL shop is embossed on here, and on here it is basically just printed on. What I thought was funny was the um, the Nike swoosh on the sleeves here. The authentic one's a lot more narrow. Look how fat that thing is on the DH Gate jersey. I mean, what a difference. Uh, we'll look at the logos on the front here. This is the DHK jersey. I mean, the stars on the logo are not even touching like they're supposed to be. I also notice a lot of thread hanging off this jersey. Let's see there and there. In there, look at the stitching down here is just rough. You don't get that on the Vapor Untouchable. Very clean stitching. It just looks a lot better. So overall, I mean, it comes down to preference. You really don't want to spend $150 for a player that's not going to be on your team next year. You can save 130 bucks and get the DH Gate version. I will definitely say get a size or two smaller. Because this AB jersey fits me like a glove. This one is down to my knees. But that's it. If you're thinking about buying the fake jersey, there's an app called DH Gate. Just download it. It took about two and a half weeks to ship. But don't expect amazing quality. Peace out.